All right, welcome back to Topic Tuesday, guys. I'm here today with my colleague Harrison again. Hi. Thanks for coming. No problem. So today we are discussing the topic on gypsum. Yeah. Um, and Harrison, what can you tell us about gypsum? Uh, gypsum is uh, a mineral uh, that's mined quite heavily around the world. It's used for uh, mainly in the building construction. Mm. Um, it's the chemical name is. Uh, calcium sulfate dihydrate um, but um, you know generally it's just called gypsum mm. um, many 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 uses in yeah. construction yeah, where do we use them so I mean you have uh, it's mainly used as a wall covering um, internally it's a nice soft smooth surface when mm. it's applied mm. uh, it dries quite fast um, it's also used in um, decorative uses as well mm. so you know it, it, as it sets quite fast you can have uh, you know crenellations along the walls mm. so you have these nice old houses you have these nice shapes on the walls that, that's mainly gypsum okay um, molding also floor screeds mm. it's quite a smooth material so it flattens out quite nicely mm. um, but the biggest industry really is, is the plasterboard. Okay, yeah. So that's what we typically know yeah. as gypsum. Yeah, and that's yeah, the production line right. material. Right, uh, with the paper coverage and everything. Yeah, so typically with the gypsum board you have um, one layer of thick paper, yeah. heavy paper. Yeah. You then pour this gypsum slurry over the, over the surface of this paper and then on top of that you have another surface of paper. So you have like a, a sandwich. So, and that will set over time. Okay. Well, I mean, when you have that type of process, do you have do you have any issues, problems when you do that? Yeah. So, I mean, of course, this this is um, a production line, so it has to be a continuous process. You yeah. can't stop and start. Yeah. Um, mm. So, there's lots of issues with uh, rheology, um, or you know how well it's pouring, or how well it's moving across the surface of the paper. Yeah. Uh, the setting time. Yeah. And also uh, the strength. Of the material itself once it's set. Right, so all these parameters can also affect the strength. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's many other ones, but those are the main three right. um, during this process. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's what I think we should be focusing on today is, is how we address those issues. Yeah, because uh, I guess there's a lot of ways that the industry has been addressing this, this, these issues previously, yeah. haven't they? I mean, um, with these three issues, it's, it's really how, how the gypsum sets. That's the issue, and it's the hydration is, is the reaction that causes this setting process. Um, and you know, to get the idea, you want a nice smooth slurry yeah. that pours well, but at yeah. the same time doesn't pour so well that it goes all over the place. Yeah. You want it you're sticking on the material. Yes. Um, and you know, you want it to set hard. And gypsum is quite a brittle, yeah. soft thing, so you need to have materials added to that to increase the strength. Yeah. You need to have materials to you know, increase the viscosity, but not too much. So yeah. again, you have to have materials that reduce the viscosity. So there's a fine balance between things like that. And also you need materials to adjust the setting time. So typical, I would say, technologies that you're using today are for this? So. Yeah, so I mean, let's talk about rheology. Yeah. Reduction of viscosity, superplasticizers. Yeah. They're PCEs, polycarboxylate yeah. ethers. That's oh. you know, industry-wide standard. Okay. So Dif they reduce the viscosity. They reduce the viscosity, make it flow better. Mm -hmm. um, other ones, so increasing the viscosity as well, is, is cellulose ethers, for yeah. example. Um, you can have starches and things like that, but cellulose ethers are the, the go-to. Right. That will increase the viscosity. Um, Any of these? <coughs> I mean, is yield stress here? Is that is that important when you talk about these products? Yield stress. Um, so you know that's the measure of. Uh, you know, the strength of the material, then if there's a network form, for example. Yeah. Or, um, I think yield stress is, is a key factor here. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and you want to probably reach a certain level. Yeah. Um, so you need the viscosity increase on that, but at the same time, you don't want to go too far. Yeah. So there will be a, a, a parameters that it has to fit in between, but yeah. it will, by that, it will be a fixed value, but it will be a, right. a range. Right. Um, but so again, with the setting time issue, um, they have other chemicals for this, and yeah. typically to a retardant is an acid-based material. Yeah. So, um, cool. Yeah. So, so there are, so there are. I mean, there are uh, problems that the industry has been solving a lot, and there are technologies for doing that. Are there any issues that the the, the industry is not seeing uh, an alternative to it these days? Um, 
I think with um, things like strength development, they've yeah. typically used fibres. Right. Um, synthetic fibres, of course. Yeah. Um, steel ones, they're not, they don't really use steel ones, but synthetic or uh, polymer based, um, or even natural ones yeah. originally. Yeah. Um, but synthetic are the easiest to use with the gypsum on a, on a production line. Um, but like, like you said, the industry needs to change. Mm. Getting all this, getting all these type of uh, slurry formulations with the different viscosity modifiers, the retardants, the accelerators, and the fibers, it's a, it's a mix, it's a mm. high energy process, mm. it takes a lot of time, mm. a lot of effort. Um, many of them, of course, petrol based. Mm. Industry needs to change that. Mm. Production gypsum itself mm. is, um, you know, a, a very labor intensive, energy intensive process. Mm. So if you if you can reduce at least one aspect, which is production of the plaster board, mm. down to a minimum, mm. that's saving a lot of energy, a lot of CO two in the atmosphere. Mm. Um, I think um, there are alternatives out there, and I think you know with a material like MFC, mm. you can see a lot of these benefits by just addition of that alone. Mm. So I mean, we know it's a viscosity modifier. Mm. Um, we've seen that in previous blog posts I've written on, on mm. concrete and, and, yeah. and lime. And, yeah. Um, we know that it, it's a network, so it can act as like the synthetic fiber, yeah. the strength development. So you get the fiber network. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there is some indications that it could affect the setting time as, as an accelerant. Yeah. Further testing has to be done on that, but yeah. that, that is an area that they could work for as well. And again, the production of this material is, is you know, it, it's an environmentally friendly product. Yeah. It's 100% bio-based. Yeah. I, I can't think why the industry would not turn this down if it works well with the system. So we were talking a little bit also on, 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 on yield stress and I mean the effect yeah. also. I mean you have yield stress and then you have the effect on rheology. So yeah. I guess both of these parts from an MSC like Exilva could, uh, could benefit this type of process. Huh? So of course like I said we, we've seen before that the yield stress is increased. Um, but of course you don't want to go too far with that. But if you can have a fine mix of, of let's say uh, a PCE or a, um, another um, super plasticizer based mm. material mm. and exilva and they work in synergy mm. then that helps and also with the pouring of this mm. material onto the surface that's you know, a shear thinning effect mm. we see the shear thinning uh, properties of exilva mm. that will help with the pourability the flow of the material onto the surface itself so again we might be able to reduce the uh, super plasticizer amount anyway yeah so, so synergetic effect yeah. Yeah. okay cool Thanks for enlightening us on an no interesting topic. Yeah. Um, we hope you enjoyed this Topic Tuesdays, uh, Tuesday from us guys, and uh, we hope to see you next time.